Hello everybody, thank you very much for joining me again. I'm Triple G and we are back with our Daily Space Adventure Part 2. Alright, so it's the second day. You know, we're on a roll, aren't we? So last time we did pretty well actually, we just survived. We had one close encounter, um, trying to get used to the Glaive Beam, our OP weapon that we managed to get on our first encounter. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to try and get to this store over here, if you can have a look. Um, what we're going to do is I'm going to try and get here. I think we've got enough time for the uh, the approaching or the encroaching uh, rebel forces managed to catch up to us. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to this one unvisited location over here and then get to the store and I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to get some more hull integrity. Okay, so scans show a remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. The ship hastily messages you, stay out of this or you'll be next. Concentrate fire on. Attack the pirate or ignore them. All right, we're heroes. We are gonna make our name in this system. So let's attack the pirate. We need to promote. We we need to promote. You know, helping the lowly, helping the weak, helping the poor. That's what we're gonna do. All right, you asked for it. They pull away from the planet and move in to engage. Continue. All right. So pause the game. Get out these two little weapons here. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna use these little weapons for now until we actually have enough power to be able to use. You know, at least one other weapon and the glaive beam at the same time. Because at the moment, the glaive beam takes 25 seconds, I believe, to actually charge up, and we have no power going on the shields. So we want to, you know, get, you know, want to change that. So there we go. Matt typing away, getting used to it, and putting the shields back up in place. It might be an idea actually to get some more shields at some point, but for now, we have to go to the uh, the store and get some more integrity. And come on, get these weapons charged. Here we go. All right, they've got their first incoming. Oh, good miss, good miss. And it did get a hit, but that's alright. We've taken out the weapons now. The weapons are down. Burst laser. Or oh, let's get the missile. Okay, let's get the missile on the shields. Hopefully, the, the missile will be able to fire before the laser because the missile can skip past the, uh, the shields, whereas the laser can't. So, there we go. Alright, they want to give us four missiles, and that actually might be quite interesting uh, because I don't think we might get enough. We might get so many if we. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's just kill them. <laughs> There's no point thinking about it. Let's just destroy them. We want the scrap. That's what we want. And how much scrap we're gonna get? Oh, we got three. We got oh no, three fuel. That's all right. And 17 scrap. That's more than we would have got. And also, with the pirates gone, wow, look at this. With the pirates gone, you signal the station. We appreciate what you've done. There'll be there'll just be another ship looking to profit from our isolation soon, soon enough. Sorry, we can't give you more. But that's good. We've got an actual weapon, healing burst. And some more scrap, that's good. But let's have a look at this weapon, see what we've got. All right, Hill B. I like that sound of that. Self teleporting healing unit that instantly heals all friendly crew in the room. Can target your own ship. All right, I don't really understand how that works, but interesting. Self teleporting healing unit. I'll have to try it out and just see what that does. All right, can target your own ship. All right, that's all right then. Um, okay, well, we'll try it out. We'll try it out at some point and just see what it does. Anyway, let's jump. Yeah, we've got enough time. They're not quite there, the rebels, so let's keep it going, keep it going, nice and easy. So you find yourself surrounded by a group of mysterious alien vessels. They hail you and apparently have some valuable technology for sale. Alright, so 40 to fix all, that's quite expensive, but it's worth it, it is definitely worth it. We could even buy another team member, but I don't think we want to. As I said earlier, we're quite extroverted, uh, sorry, introverted, we don't like, uh, we don't like to, you know, interact with outsiders. So let's fix all. And we could even sell. We could sell some things as well. He'll be, how much is that worth? 20, 60 for the Glaive Beam. It should be worth a lot. Uh, burst laser is pretty good. But what have they got for sale? They've got an yes, S-Bomb. Self-teleporting explosive that damages systems and crew, but not the hull. Can target your own ship. Why would you want to do that? Why would you want to? Actually, I can see why. If you want to kill. Yeah, that's fair enough. That's fair enough. Iron Blast 2. So if you wanted to kill, um, Anyone that's teleported onto your ship, you can use that S bomb. So that's that's quite a good technique. You can close off all the doors into an area, so they can they can't move, and then send this bomb. Now that's quite cool. I like that. But I don't think it will be it'd be quite rare that it's useful though. I think so. I wouldn't want to get that. Iron blast two. Iron weapons can disable its systems without causing hull damage. I've used this before in a past playthrough. I wasn't a big fan of it. I like to cause big damage all the time. So you know, I like to. I'm a big boy. I like to cause big damage. Hmm. We could actually get a Mantis or an NG. Ooh, look at that. Repair speed is doubled. Um, but it's not clear if the NG are partly organic or entirely mechanical. Uh, the repair speed is doubled. That's quite tempting, isn't it? And the Turing. 
Double damage in combat, that's pretty good. Because I think soon we're definitely going to be having some people, um, some enemies onto our ship. But we can't, or teleporting onto our ship, but we can't quite afford it. So I think let's keep going. Oh, look at that. So we're going to go to another visited location. So we're not going to get anything from this jump. But um, we're getting further away from the... Oh my goodness, actually, this could be quite close. This could be a very close one. So quickly, 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 we need to get to the exit. All right. Uh, this is going to be very close. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness. Hopefully, we'll be all right. Uh, right, well, let's just hate, aid these guys for now. Um, and not think about it. There's no point worrying about it. So you power up your weapons and engage the pirate ship. So pause the game. Here we go. Another another futile attempt by the enemy to uh, to divert our passage into the next system. Alright, so we go Matt typing away. Good old Nick as well typing away. Nick, you're going to make a name for yourself. You've got an epic name. Epic, epic name. Um, working on this, this missile system. This dual missile system. And they've taken the first shot. Oh, they've taken our shields. Come on. Come on, Matt. There we go. Nice. Big damage. Big damage. Good old Gertrude. Gertrude constantly typing away on that uh, the cockpit. I don't really know what you do, Gertrude. Um, I'm li I'm literally no idea. So um, I'm hoping that you know you do something important. Maybe it's that you work on the FTL drive. That's probably what you're doing, which is quite vital, I guess. Yeah, it's quite vital. It's a little bit vital. A little bit vital. Anyway, the pirate ship breaks apart. You hasten to contact the invincible ship. The only reason we contacted them is because we want some fat loots. Uh, so two missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Perfection. Alright, the ship you saved is badly damaged in the battle. Most of the crew accepts your offer to drop it off at a nearby station. One offers to join your crew. Hmm. Let's do it. Welcome aboard. Who are you then, sir? Or madame. The survivor gets on board your ship. <laughs> El Nub Nub. <laughs> Lazen. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Alright, El Nub Nub, let's have a look at you, mate. Alright, El Nub Nub, so... You're an NG, so repair speed is doubled, but combat damage inflicted is halved. That's alright, you know, we'll keep you away from the combat, we'll keep you into a... Let's get you into here, because what we need, I think this area here, the engines, uh, a charged FD will drive and powers evasion, and manning it increases your dodge chance. So now we'll have some dodge, that's pretty good. I'm very happy with that, actually. So, should we invest... I'm not really sure what we should invest in, you know, guys. If you have any any ideas of what we should invest in, you know, let me know. But at the moment, I think it could, you know, it's a, it's a play off between the shields. I think shields really. I don't really want to take any any hull damage. So I think, you know, we're gonna have to spend 50 to get another shield bar. So I think that's worth it. So here we go. Spend two. Yeah, spend we've got two lots of bars. So we should have another one to come up in a second. Um, come on, Matt. Come on, Matt. Work away at it. Oh, actually, we have to press it here, don't we? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Alright, we need to get some more power as well now. So, once we've got some more power, we'll be able to actually get some more shields. So, let's jump. Oh, for goodness sake. Alright, this is, this is horrible. Literally horrible. We are in their space now. They have taken over our space. And this here, you found the exit, but the rebels got here first. You must survive long enough to be able to jump to the next sector. Goodness sake. Alright, okay, this is gonna be really tough. Um I think what we're gonna have to do is Okay, so we've got two, three. We might have to take something out of here. Okay, so what we'll do, pause it. I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the med bay offline. Can we take these subsystems offline? I really would like to. Alright, I guess we can't. We'll take that offline. Because what we're gonna have to do it really is we're gonna have to work on getting the glade beam up, I think. Um, it's a bit of a tie off like uh, I don't know yeah I think we should I think we should get the okay I think what we're going to do is we're going to take these offline get the clay beam online um, get one power bar out of that get the artist online we can't really do that because yeah, okay what we'll do is we'll take both of these out for now so we don't have any that's fine, that's actually fine. We'll just get the shield on for now. Um, Gertrude, you're not going to do anything. That's alright, we don't need you to. We'll get you, Gertrude, into. I don't know, you're not really needed to be fair. Let's get you into the centre of the ship just in case something goes wrong. Actually, no, let's put you back up there. We'll do you, pilot. Um, 
engines offline don't really matter, I guess. We want the shield up while they attack us a couple of times to get our glade beam sorted. Okay, so we just want to withhold, or withstand, sorry, until the glade beam is sorted. And when it is, we want to attack this from here. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. So I take three rooms. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Delicious. And here we go, come on, glade beam. Do your worst, literally your worst. We want them to cry. We want them to scream out in pain. Oh, look at that. That was very nice. <laughs> We've all been damaged. Let's get the glade beam back up again. Very happy with this. This is going to work well, actually. It's going to work well. Um, another attack like that, and they'll be taken out. In terms of, uh, I think they'll be in the red. So I'm very happy with that. Very happy indeed. The glade beam. I can't believe we're so OP already. Like we shouldn't even really be surviving this bit here, because literally, you know, this. We are late. You know, we're late to the game. We should have gone through the exit already by now. So it's quite impressive that we're actually going to be. I think. <laughs> Let's not speak too soon. Let's touch wood as well. But I think we're going to get through this. I think we're going to get through this. Perfect. Just keep this going. You know, nice and slowly like. Nice and slowly like. And uh, it should be absolutely fine. We'll, we'll survive. I will survive. Who's that? I will survive. Was that a Weetabix advert as well? I'm sure it was. Anyway. Well, I'll just, I'll just tell you a bit about what's going on on my channel here. The channel I'm going to take I have bought a new computer, it should have arrived a couple of days ago. It's a bit annoying the fact that it hasn't arrived yet, but I'm using my dad's laptop, which is pretty good, um, to make a few videos at the moment. So, you will have some content coming out. I'm sorry it's a bit later than actually was promised previously. Um, honestly, you know, I would like to say it's not my fault, but I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to pass the blame at all. Um, I shouldn't have promised in the first place, but. What I will say is that as soon as my computer does arrive, which I'm very excited for, the content will be coming out. And I'm putting up these space, uh, these space adventure videos daily. But alongside those, we'll have our, our other uh, videos continuing. So I'd like to get Quake back on the run. Um, and also perhaps um, a few new games as well. So I want to complete Quake. I want to get all of Quake done, Quake 1 done. Um, but there are a few games that I used to play quite a lot, or had bought but never did play. So one, for example, is Knights of the Old Republic, the very first one. I never played that, but I do have it in my Steam. So I would quite like to play that if you guys you know, would like to see that. Then um, you know, that would be, that'd be quite a nice game to play through, I think. Uh, apart from that, I might uh, play a bit more WoW as well, you know, with good quality, high quality video. So hopefully you'll look forward to that. But also the Glaive Beam, Glaive Beam is about to do its worst, it's about to destroy the elite fighter which we've managed to actually own. Uh, very slowly, uh, we've owned it. I'm very happy actually, you know, that's quite a tune. It'll be interesting to see what kind of resource we'll get for killing it. As I've never actually you know, done this before, it's quite shocking that I've just laid through. One fuel, there's no time to set oh my goodness, that is awful. Oh, for goodness sake, game. Jump away before the cruisers get in fire and what? Whatever. I guess it's realistic-ish. This whole sort of space and later on. Anyway, get some power out of the weapons. Um, stop the glade beam. Put it into the engines. Two into the engines. Uh, one into here. And uh, one left. So, get the shield out. I guess. And that's fine. Uh, we'll, what we're going to do is as soon as we can, we're going to buy some more. Take two out there. We're going to buy some more. Um, more power bars and put them into well so that we can we'll buy two more power bars that's our next sort of thing we'll go for all right so let's jump next sector all right so there's zoltan or pirate control i don't really know i've, I've always thought to myself what is the difference sort of thing i mean it does say it's a deleting hostile nebula but what do they mean does it hostile just mean that you'll, you'll come across more it's a more difficult path to go on but you'll get better loot is that what it means or civilians easier but you'll get you know slightly worse loot I want the better loot, I think we can survive the better loot sort of area. So let's go pirate control. Let's do this. Alright, look at that. Look at this space. A few Federation friendly plant planets still exist in this sector. They are constantly under attack by pirate raids. This is a dangerous sector, so be careful. Okay. We will be careful. Hopefully the patterns will come pouring in. Alright, so let's go to this unvisited location, I think. Actually, no, let's go, let's go further up because there are quite a few close together areas up there. And I think that'd be nice to there's quite a few there. Here is the next one. We don't want to be as close as we were last time to the uh, to being caught. That was not nice. Right, you're in what right at a quiet spaceport and I'm being held by another ship. And the 
做嘅。我呢成日話點點點點 trade， 點 trade 唔到 trade 嘅，我冇人愛嘅三十萬。I think that's few. Yeah, pretty sure it is. Let's give it to you. Thank you. Yeah, that's a good deal. That's a very good deal. One hundred. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's go there. Let's try and go over there. Let's see what we see. So upon arriving at this beacon, you're taken to stress call. A local scan is revealed that a Federation transport is under attack from a rebel scout. Let's aid the Federation ship. Let's get straight in there. So power up your weapons. Get rid of the rebel ship. Right. This is a small fight, but the compared to what we've taken, I think it's quivering, literally quivering with the uh, absolute fear. I know that we we have taken out one of the Marines. Fuel one drone part. Oh, their ship looks to be on the verge of destruction. Lifespans are fading quickly. Quickly try to rescue the crew. That's the only option. Why can we not? <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want to rescue them. You know, we're heartless bastards. That's what we are. Oh well. Despite your efforts, the majority do not survive. The sole survivor offers to join your crew and help you strip the now derelict ship of useful components. Oh no, he's going to need some counselling now. The only one left. He must have seen some horrible things. Anyways, thirteen more scrap and Ekman. Oh yeah, Ekman. What are you? You Ekman. Also an NG. Oh, you got a new friend, El Nub Nub. El Nub Nub and Ekman. Two good little friends. Ah,、oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. So Ekman, nice. You can get into the.、Uh... Well, you've got nothing to do really. <laughs> oh well, you can go. You can just go in there and have a look at the security cameras. And you can watch, you know, like、uh, old old footage of Matt and. A bit of a、uh, play in the toilet, and only wish that you had those、uh, those human parts to play with as well. Because unfortunately, you know, you're only half human, and you don't have that that part of your body to play with. But、uh, now I should I should shut up now. Anyway, let's get some more power bars. That's what we want to do. So we've got one more power bar. We've got one more. We've got the ship、uh, ship shield. Okay, let's jump. Let's jump to another location. Ooh, danger! 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 A pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it's attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that's a smuggler trying to stay away from beacons. Hmm. Well, a smuggler. They must have some good loot. Let's attack the pirate. You power up your weapons and move in to engage. Ooh, what's that? He's got, a, he's got something rather good on there. Anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to attack. We're going to attack anyway.、And、I want to destroy. I want to destroy the weapons, but I also want to destroy. Oh. 
Jesus. 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 Jesus.